Well, hey, welcome, lovelies, to Let's Play Resident Evil. One. Press start. Or any button, that works too. Ah! Yeah! What? Loading content. Okay. okay. I was not expecting that. I, I think we're back. Sorry about that. Okay. Uh, you must create data or you won't be able to start the game. You, wait, you won't even be able to start? Oh my. That's a hell of a thing. Okay, so yes, yes. Now, quite clearly, I have never played this. Aha, a blood splatter means stuff's being saved. Okay. It's a novel idea, definitely new. I love how they always start you at load game, even if you've never played it and they know it. It's always a weird thing. Ooh, th oh, there's more stuff. Ooh, a gallery. Cool. A manual. I don't think we need that. I do need options, though. Maybe, possibly. Display. Ooh, white screen. Fancy. Controls. Alternate control, huh? I think this is like Resident Evil Zero in that the original is the tr uh, traditional tank controls. You know, forward or up on the control stick is always forward, whereas alternate up is whatever direction up happens to be. And I very much like that. It's very much better. Defensive items. Hmm. I don't even know what a defensive item is. I'll take it, though. Sure, why not? Uh, brightness. Yeah, that's fine. Audio. There are no subtitles. But I do like the way this is designed. Like a little sine wave thing going on. It's cool. Uh, language. Uh, English, I think. Ah, there is subtitles. Cool. How many languages are there? French, Spanish, German, Italian, traditional Chinese, simplified Chinese, Japanese. I love that this is lowercase and this is capitalized. That's kind of funny to me. Anyway, uh, yeah, I think we'll go in English just so I can understand what's going on. Auto data upload? Choose if you want to upload data about your game to the server. What? What server? The PlayStation server? I guess? I have no idea. But let's begin! Resident Evil. And nothing afterward. I already did this. <laughs> I always go to the options first. Uh, how do you like your games? One, like climbing a mountain. Fulfilling, but takes a lot of work. Like going on a hike. Good exercise, but not too strenuous. Like taking a walk. You can relax and enjoy yourself. So, uh, I guess we'll go middle of the road. I do like climbing mountains in Skyrim, though. That is definitely a thing. But no, 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 no. I remember how difficult uh, Resident Evil Zero was, and the the bump up of Resident Evil Four. So I'm gonna just go middle of the road, normal difficulty. If this is difficulty, or could it be trying to trick me? Ah, middle of the road. Poof, approved. Fancy. Awesome. Huh? Ooh. Fancy that. So we got Jill Valentine or Chris Redfield. Now that's the Chris Redfield I'm familiar with. The BSAA of North America Bioterrorism Security Assessment Alliance. Assessment Alliance. That gives more connotations as they just, they look at what's going on and then go away and tell their superiors of what's going on. Perhaps not. But that's the one I'm familiar with from Resident Evil 5. This one... I don't know him at all. So, I'm gonna go with this. We're gonna go Chris Redfield. Yeah. The 
there is Redfield. Why does it gotta be all shaky like that? Also, did I intro proper? Welcome to Resident Evil with me, Zelly and Graves. Blah 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 blah. blah. Cool. Save successful. Ooh, Alpha fast. team is flying around the forest zone, situated in northwest Raccoon City, where we are searching for the helicopter of our compatriots, Bravo team. Who disappeared during the middle of their mission. Oh, there's a fancy forest. Bizarre murder cases have recently occurred in Raccoon City. Oh, pulled back from there the TV. Are outlandish reports of families being attacked by a group of about ten people. Victims were apparently eaten. The Bravo team was sent in to investigate, but we lost contact. Look, Chris. Ah. Bravo team's helicopter was a derelict. Save for the remaining body of Kevin. Nummy, nummy. We continued our search for the other members, and it turned into a nightmare. There's things in them there woods. That is so awesome that they found the chopper. Hmm. Sneaky Sues, aren't they? Nice bandana, by the way. Oh! Oh, that's not good. No! Joseph F! How you doing? He's a good boy. Come on. Good boy, go boom. Oh hi. How you doing? Run. Hey, Rag. Where the hell's he going? Well, quite clearly he's flying, but. Oh, don't block with your arm! This way. Thanks, Al! The perfect hidey place! Ah, what the? Stop doing that! Quit cutting out my stream! What in the hell? Sorry about that, I didn't know this game did that. There are only three Sheesh. STARS members left now. Captain Wesker, Jill, and myself. We don't know where Barry is. <sighs> is everyone alright? Barry. Where's I hope Barry? so. He's... No. What was that? Sounded like a gunshot. I'll go and check it out. It's probably right. Barry. Jill and I will stay and secure this area. You got it, Wesker. Take care. Yeah. Sorry about cutting off her face there, but how was I supposed to know this? <laughs> In we go. Okay, so I can move around. Wow, I am Speedy Gonzalez. All right. Uh, now, I do have to test a thing. I can move around. Okay, so my audio is coming through. I am live. Everything is going through correctly, and I have one viewer still. Awesome. But unnerving. I don't know 
how many times it's gonna do that. It, it seems if it loads anything for any reason... Ink Ribbon! Delightful! Hmm. I think I'll have to move my icon. Icon. My, uh... Give me that first. Yeah, I'll have to move my camera to the other side. I don't think I can do that on the fly. So, for the next episode, I will definitely remember that. But! Ooh, a typewriter! But we'll deal with that later. Instead, we've only just begun! But yes, like I said... Ooh, an emblem! More like a shield. Examine an item. From the status screen, select an item and select the examine command. The details of the item will be displayed. Yay. Thanks for that. There's also two swords and a shield way up there. Why can't I have that? Anyway, uh, but yeah, I have no idea about this game. I have played it a teensy tiny bit and died at one of the very first puzzles that are in the game. Delightful stabbage there! A picture of two knights striking each other. The short sword has been thrust into the breast of one knight, while the long sword has been pierced into the head of the other. Is that symbolic of something? Probably. Clock! When the two have run each other through, the path to your destiny will open. I love Destiny. That is a great game. Gets a lot of flack for, well, all things considered, being not the game that was promised, but that doesn't even matter. Where am I going? Oh, door. But yes, I will probably need a lot of help. If I get things in the first go, then it's fine, but... Also, probably a good idea to figure out how to attack. Ah, R1 and L1 to arm. L1 to aim, R1 to shoot. Okie dokie. Oh, doors. And more doors. And an elevator. Ooh, there's an elevator here. Duh. Doesn't look like you can access it from this floor. Eh, probably not. Ooh, stairs. I don't want to change floors, though. I want to figure out what's going on on these floors. It's locked. An emblem of armor is carved into the lock. Well, wait a second. No, that's not it. Triangle? Ah! Ugh! We have a pulse! My god! Who would have thought that? Alright, so let's examine this like it told us to. It's galled all around the outer edges due to frequent fitting. Okay, so we use this now. No, we don't. Emblem of our... Oh, I know. We need a, the armor key, don't we? Locked from the other side. Ah, okie dokie. That's where I came from. Let's see what's around the corner. Juicy. Having a good meal there, bud? You got a little, uh, something there. I don't have a gun, so I'm running. Better report back to Wesker. What? Okay, fine. Just run into him, then. Get off me. I've been nibbled. But I'm still fine. So I've got Billy's case of uh, tenacity, which is good. Let's double back and see what we shall find in the other room. It was weird, too. The whole, uh... There's an indention where the emblem used to be. Okay. Goodness, that clock is quite loud, isn't it? Hmm. Anyway, um... What was I saying? I got distracted by the cloud and now I don't know what... Eh, whatever. It doesn't matter. Ding-a-dong! Wesker? Jill? Jill? Anybody's? 
where did they go? Hmm. A gun! My word, that gun is huge. Take the handgun? Nah, we'll leave it for somebody else. Yes, we're gonna take it. We're gonna equip it, too. Alright. Kabangi! A stars! Custom automatic. Fires 9mm parabellum rounds. It kind of looks like the stars logo, or abbreviation, has been etched on. It's kind of a nice touch. I like it. Alright. So we are now armed to the teeth. And we've got the classic type of aiming. Incredibly slow turning. Upsy downsy in middle. Okay. I think I can work with this. Through the big doors. I know this little door over there. I probably should have checked that first, actually. You know, it kind of looked like a face in a weird way. Hello, statue. Woman drawing water. No, actually, it looks more like she's holding water, but okay. <laughs> hey, whoa, hey, huh? And she has a boob. Fantastic. What's that say? Dis. No. I have no idea. It's too blurry. I have bad vision as it is. A portrait hangs on the wall. You don't say. It almost seems like it's watching you. Well, it probably is then, isn't it? Hmm. Excuse me. Coming through. I see that shiny back there, but I want to... Excuse me. I want to go this way. Huh? An eerie picture of the mansion. Oh, there's more. <laughs> Got nothing to say about the creepy picture of a person going like... <laughs> okay, fine. Ooh, what's this? A knife! A dagger! I can use that, hell yeah! Start dual wielding that and... Oh, it's a... Oh, this is the defensive item, okay. Using defensive items... Emergency evade! Using defensive items such as daggers will allow you to escape momentarily when grabbed by an enemy. However, you will not be able to escape when the enemy grabs you from behind. Why can't you take the dagger and just go wah? Anyway, to equip a defensive item, go to the status screen and then select a, the an item from the defensive item menu. Then select equip command. If your defensive item mode is set to manual in the control settings, you must press L2 to use the defensive item. And actually, now that I think about it, that's a really good idea because I bet you, if I uh oh. Oh, I... what the hell is that? A grenade is my defensive item? Okay, sure, I I'm certain that's safe. But yeah, uh, it says we only have one of them, so I don't really want to use it if I'm just going to go from fine to caution. I should use it if I'm going to go from caution to danger, or just have it equipped during danger. That'd be even better. So, how do I go about doing that? Uh, controls? Ah, here we go. Manual! Alright, so, that's for L2, right? Yeah, defensive item. Okie dokie. Sounds like a plan. Saving. Save successful. Yay! I am still alive, right? Right? I know the same is successful, jeez. Okay, so... Whoa! Whoa, no! Oh, if only we knew how to walk! Hi, buddy! Bangy boomy! Ah, no, get off me! Get! Oh my goodness! You can get back up, aren't you? Yep! Okay. Yeah.
Music stopped. I don't see any pool of blood, though. Ha! Hmm. Oh, yay! I've used all my bullets. <laughs> That's fine, though. It's perfectly fine. Nothing to worry about. We'll just take our knife and make sure he's at. Ooh, we got a nice pokey stab. I'm gonna stab your butt, stab your ass all the time. Okay, so he appears to be dead. We'll probably see him again at some point. Huh? There's nothing of use here. Crap. It was a bright thing. I thought it was something. Now, I wonder if I can hop on top and kind of scoot behind this thing. Ooh, here we go. Perfect. So now I push it away from the wall. I may have actually pushed it too close to the other one, though. Yep. Oh. New. All right, fine. Um, can I reset the puzzle? It's locked. An emblem of a sword is carved into the lock. Okay, sure, no problem there. Okay, through the big doors. So we go out, then we come back, and the puzzle should reset itself. Because as we all know, the guard from The Legend of Zelda is the one who fixes all the puzzles. You can't see him, he's probably in the ceiling somewhere, but every time you exit a room, he quickly dives in and fixes all the problems that are going on. Gets everything back to normal, as much as he can. If we take something, then there's not a lot of good he can do. But, yeah, if we can push this thing, and then push it a little more from the other side, Scoot. There we go. Now we can do it. And I will admit, I do know how to solve this puzzle mostly from the sizzle reel, or whatever it's called. The, uh, if you don't press anything. Ooh, a map! A map of the Mansion One. Take it? Yeah, of course. Oh my god! It's nearly twice the size of the mansion in, uh, or the training facility in uh, Resident Evil Zero. Delightful! Okay, so we got first floor and we got a ban uh, basement. Almost said a mansion. I don't even know what that is. Okay, so... Green is done. Red is in progress. Okay. I can deal with that. You got the map of Mansion 1F. Awesome. But yeah, if you don't press anything in the, uh, when it says press any button, it does the reel where it shows you a bunch of gameplay scenes with no context. So I do know some things that are coming. I don't know where. Well, except for that, but... Oh yeah, stairs! It's locked. An emblem of a helmet is carved into the lock. Yeah, I, I have heard that this game is notorious for just being all out keys. Which is fine. Uh oh! Hi! Yeah, that was stupid. Bye! Uh. Quick, run downstairs! That's the best idea! This is not a loading zone! Oh my god! Okay, so, uh, who wants to go upstairs? Ow! My ass! Uh -oh. I'm wounded! I have no bullets! What? Emblem of sword? Oh, come on! Go away! Bad dog! Emblem of armor! Ow! My butt! Again! Oh, this is gonna kill me. I have only a knife to fight you with! It's locked! Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, Zell. You know those zombie dogs that were outside? They're still outside? Why'd you open the door? <laughs> okay, how bad are we doing? Caution. But it's red caution. Which is incredibly bad. Okay. Um. Hi! I'm gonna go this way. 
I could really use an herb. Hey, another dagger. Awesome. Of course, doesn't seem the daggers do very much against dogs now, is it? It's locked. An emblem of a sword. Okay. A stained glass window. The pattern in the center resembles a woman. Uh, how do you see that? I don't see anything. Oh, no, no. I want to try my knife on the glass. Ah. No. Eh. Worth a shot. Okay. So, yeah, he's still coming around. Ooh, what's this? Why can't I do anything with it? Oh! I get it. So, I gotta push this thing over here. Zombro's gotta be right there, isn't he? Push it! Yeah, we just push it. Alright. So, there is that, and I think that's all, so I'm just gonna drop down there. I, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm not gonna drop down there! Okay! Perfectly fine! I guess we'll take the door. Dog's gonna be right there. Oh, if I die in episode one, I'm gonna laugh. Yep, he's somewhere. Don't know where, but he's somewhere here. Oh, this leads to a great big nowhere. Thanks. Yep, there he is. All right, we'll go down these stairs. Go this way. That's definitely not a painting, isn't it? That's a door. That's a, get out of the pillar. Okay. So we're getting somewhere here. I've got 13 minutes left, and I'm a little bit scared, so I think I'm gonna save. Wait, first, I'm gonna, yeah, grab this here thingamajiggy. Come here, you. <gasps> a Chaos Emerald! Uh, the Blue Gemstone. Okay, day. So, now we got that. So, so what about that? Blue Gemstone. It's beautifully cut and polished. You know, if I grab that real well, nice and tight, I could probably shove it through some dude's head. Or not. You know, that's fine. <sighs> Perfectly fine. Okay, now, let's save. It's an old typewriter. You can save your progress. Use the ink ribbon. Yes. Okay, now, let's make sure that the stream is still going. Loading content, no error messages. Ooh, we can save up to eight slots. Delightful. I know I'm going to be messing up a lot. Mansion dining room. Okie dokie. Saving. Still no problems. Save successful. Okay, so no problems then. It must be something like having to do with area transitions, maybe, or... I don't know. Also, locked doors. Um, oh, now there's a second floor. You piece of crap. Okay, so locked, 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 locked. I should check that painting. Oh, but that dog out there. Bloody hell. Um, hmm. Okay, so... This way's no bueno, I know that. I did get through this section at one point. Because I remember there was a... Oh, just go away, you. But yeah, there was a wall of spikes that was... Wonder what's on the other side of this door. Well, from the sound of things, Silent Hill is on the other side of that door. Mayhaps we don't want to go that way just yet. Um, was that door locked? Yes, it was. And that just goes around to that. That door's locked. Right. Door, the door to outside is not locked. Hmm. Okay, let's worm around our way upstairs again just for a bit. Oh! 
Ha <laughs> ha! I knew that was suspicious. Also, if I control pad... Yeah, control pad walks normal tank controls. Okay. Just in case I need to move more stealthily. Wow, that looks like a painting. What am I saying? It is a painting. Uh, technically, these are all pre-rendered graphics. Which games these days really need to pay closer attention to. A tomb engraved with the picture of an angel. Really? Looks like a dude holding a bow. There's an indentation in the shape of an arrowhead. Will this work? If we kind of angle it the right way? No, not necessary. Okay. Sure, fine, perfect. Oh, I guess it is an angel. Right. Wait a second. If we can climb this high and to a high enough point that we can reach the indentation to put whatever it is we find in that, then why couldn't we climb the statue lady five minutes ago? Ah, whatever. It's fine, it's fine. But yeah, games these days, they look real fancy and good. It's locked from the other side, of course it is. But they do the constant preloading graphics on the fly thing? There's no name or inscription on the crumbling tombstone. But yeah, they... This is confusing. Ah, there is a door there. And there's something straight ahead of me. Oh. So there's something beyond that, but there's also a side passage. Ooh, here we go. Green herb. Herbal pill. Weed. I'll take anything. Oh, here's something. Shotgun shells. When I don't have a shotgun. Thanks. Can it just, like, eat the grass, or the vines that are growing all over the place? Maybe that'll give me health. Okay, so... Yeah, not a lot we can do there. I think the only path that's actually open to me is the front door. Fat lot of good that did. Well, let's try again. Why not? Oh boy. Hi, doggy. Can you mm, just not pay attention? It's too dangerous to open this door. Really? And when you opened it and stared at the three or four dogs that were out there and were just like, uh, hi, uh, how you guys doing? Oh no, one jumped in. Yeah, that was perfectly safe. Anyway. Is he just gonna not pay me any mind now? Because that would be delightful. Oh yeah! That other door is open! Duh! I completely forgot about that. The one with the first zombie. Cool! Oh boy, 35 some odd minutes in, and I haven't even found a single herb. I'm gonna die... a lot! Okay, so... That way, everything's locked. But this way, something new, yes? Oh yeah, and there's stairs there. I guess I should traverse that. Okay, so we're going this way. The corpse of your comrade, Kenneth. Oh no, not Kenneth. I didn't know you at all. It looks like he's holding something. Bullets? The It's the film that belonged to Kenneth. I need a video player to see what's recorded on it. Ooh, the Resident Evil 7 way. Cool. So, that'll come in handy later. Oh, I should have checked him again. Maybe he had bullets. Eh, whatever. Probably not. They wouldn't be that nice to me. Oh, this is not a cutscene. I thought he was like, oh my god. And then was going to start walking or something. That looks so good. But yeah, like I said, the whole pre-rendered graphics thing is really good. <gasps> Herbs! Monster, monster, monster! 
There's a corpse. Collapse on the floor like it was an instant death. What? How does that make any kind of sense? What the hell happened in this mansion? Now, see, death takes time. If a body's in a corner, then you have a crime scene. The, uh, anyway, I watched too much CSI. Anyway, that is a big-ass herb. You can't carry any more items. <gasps> no. Okay, so first things first, we ditch the savey do. Uh oh, wait a second. What? How do I? Wait, how do I drop? It's not necessary to use now. I know that. Combine with the ground. How do I drop things? Oh, I have a lighter. Cool. Wait, this is actually a, an issue. No, that's not it. Uh, that circle just goes back. Touchpad does nothing. Start does nothing. Click the sticks. I cannot drop anything. Okay. So apparently my, um, my hands are made of glue. Yeah, I can't even use it on the fly. Okay. That definitely provides an added challenge. So I have to carefully think about what I want to drag with me. Large bird cage. There's a dead raven inside. Aww. That sucks because I could really use some healing right now. Drop the damn shotgun shells. I may have indeed screwed myself over right from the get-go. Which is fine. Ooh, nice mirrors. There's a dude over there. Or apparently not. It's locked from the other side. But yeah. Hello, goodbye. How you doing, dead buddy? Well, at least there's a lot of healing items that I cannot use. But yeah, with games these days, they have this sort of... Things look really good when they're loaded. There's an inscription on the shield. Death is only the beginning. Oh, I remember you. Wait, can I use my shield on you? No. Okay. Good to know. That's the one I remember. Oh, yeah. There's an inscription on the shield. Death is the true essence of bliss. Okay, so death is a thing. May whoever takes this emblem find peace in death. But I can't carry any more items. Thank goodness, because that would have killed me. Okay, another shield there. It's locked. Of course it's locked. Everything's locked. Emblem of a helmet. Okay. So, I guess through the mirror area? Maybe? Oof. Yeah, if I, I do know that if I took that key, the walls would close in, the shield would block my way, and a spiky McJackass back there would ram his spiky shield right up my bum bum, which is not good for anyone involved. I've got a minute left. Let's see if we can squeeze past oh, this guy. Yep, yep, nope. Stab him! Yeah! Whatever happened to destroy the brain, dude? Anyway. Oh, this looks like a trap. An arrow! Can't carry anymore. What the hell is this? An ammo clip that we cannot carry. Oh, goody. So many wonderful things. It's locked from the other side. I unlocked it. That's a change. <laughs> you know, stop my timer. Try and snake my way back to a savey room. Ooh, I know this room. Delightful. I can actually do exactly, exactly that. 
All right, so this leads back to the second floor of the stairway access. So that's good. I can just wiggle my way back down. But yeah, allow me to finish a thought though for a moment. When it comes to pre-rendered graphics like this, everything is as it is. There is no. T oh boy! Ah, no! Gooey! Get off me! Should have pressed L. Bark! All right. But yeah. The thing is, newer games, they have great graphics, but when you first look at them, everything looks like clay. Like, just muddy clay. And then, after, like, a few seconds or so, it loads in. It's just not good to look at whenever it's all clay-like like that. Anyway, thought process. So... I'm going to be in one hell of a tussle if I cannot figure out how to drop things. I know the save exists sexual. Come on. There. Okay, so. How many of those I got left? Ooh, can't really tell. Probably just the one. I'm probably going to go back because I'm in danger, and that's not good. <laughs> oh, boy. This is going to be a real short run. Anyway. This has been, uh, let me back up a sec here. Thank you all for watching. This has been Let's Play Resident Evil. With me, Sully and Graves. And I am going to definitely go back, play exactly what I just played, but with a little bit less suckage going on and much less items. I'm probably, since the shield is right there, and I haven't used it, I mean, the emblem. Uh, since the emblem is right there on the wall in this room, I'm probably just going to leave it there and go back. I'll take the gemstone, not the shotgun shells. I'll get the pistol ammo and any other goodies that I find along the way, but not the key. I'm going to leave that as a thing to do later. Oh, I should probably get rid of the... If it's stuck in my image... Mm. I'll also read the manual. That'll probably be a good thing and be like, huh, silly, you should have pressed this button. Anyway, I'll figure something out. And in all likelihood, have better health getting back here. But... That'll be for the next time. Thank you all for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow on Twitch. Toss some cheer? Bit? I don't know. The, the Twitch thing. Anyway, I rambled on long enough. And I catch you in the next one. <laughs> Later. Man, Redfield does not look good. I mean, he looks good, but he also looks like he's about to die.